Hey guys, my name is Dory with the blog Dory Turner Interiors and today I'm going to be reviewing our Sinkology farmhouse sink. But first, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we're coming out with new videos all the time. When we first moved into our 1970s fixer upper, it had the original cast iron sink and it was in bad shape. We used a refinishing kit to restore it and you can also watch the DIY on that, but it was only meant to be a temporary fix until we could afford a farmhouse sink. So we purchased Syncology's Parker Quick Fit Drop-In Fire Clay Sink from Home Depot almost two years ago now and I will link it in the description. We chose this sink because it was DIY friendly and it would fit over our existing laminate countertops. I do have a blog post detailing how to install this sink. I'm not gonna go over that in the video, this is just a review, but if you want that, you can check that post out. I will also link that in the description. We did have to cut into our laminate countertops to install the sink, and I also go over that in the post, so be sure to check that out. Now that we've had this sink for almost two years, I can really say that I love it. It looks so nice in our kitchen. Some of the things that I love about this sink is obviously the apron front here, it's part of the reason that I wanted a farmhouse sink. I just love the apron front look. It has a double bowl, which is another feature that I really wanted. I like having the two bowls, and so it came with the double bowl, which is really nice. It's a large sink, which is great for our family of five. We really need a large sink, and so this is a great size for our family. They do make a small farmhouse sink if space is an issue for you. It's also easy to clean. It does get dirty easy. Obviously, it's a white sink, but it cleans up easily, and if I have some really tough stains, I'm able to use a magic eraser to get them out. Now the magic eraser is, it can be tough on the enamel, so you wanna use it sparingly, but it will take those tough stains out of your sink to keep it nice and pretty and white. The other thing that I really love about the sink was the cost. Compared to other farmhouse sinks on the market, it is very affordable, making it attainable for families like us who are on a budget, and so I really appreciate the cost of this sink. Some of the things I don't like about this sink, there's really only one thing that I haven't been happy about with this sink, and that is it can scratch easily. That is the difference between a Syncology sink and maybe a more expensive like Kohler sink. On a Kohler sink, it has a deeper enamel, so the white enamel goes deeper than it does on a Syncology sink, and so it hides the scratches. Whereas on the Syncology sink, it's just this thin layer of enamel, and so it can get scratched easily, and we have some scratches on our sink from where the pans have leaned up against the finish. So that's really been my one complaint about the sink, and so I would just say if you're investing in the sink to be very careful also that it does come with a warranty on the sink and of course I did not go out and uh, fill that out after we purchased the sink but I highly recommend that you do fill out the warranty because some of that is covered in the warranty so be sure and check that out. Overall we are thrilled with our Syncology farmhouse sink. In my opinion it's the best DIY farmhouse drop-in sink on the market. We would definitely buy it again and I recommend it if you're wanting an affordable apron style sink. At the same time that we upgraded our sink, we also did our DIY marble countertops. It's my most popular video to date. And so if you are needing a budget friendly upgrade for your countertops, I definitely recommend checking out that video. Thank you so much for watching today. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment below and we will see you in the next video.